The USGA and the RNA this week expected to announce changes to the rules that would result in rollbacks to distance for all players, professional and recreational. Tiger, pro rollback. I, I don't know what year they indicated. I, I think maybe late 2020s, somewhere in there, right? Um, you know, this has been, I guess, the talk for ever since I've been out on tour. And then, you know, to finally see it come to this point where I think both governing bodies um, who control the rules around the world are, are going to come to a collaborative understanding of, you know, how far it's, you know, we just don't have enough property anymore. And so I think that that understanding that, uh, yeah, the, it was, we've been hammering that the, the ball needs to slow down, but it has kept speeding up my entire time on career. And here we are. I, as I told you guys, I've always been for bifurcation. You know that um, I've always said that. Just like wooden bats and metal bats. And apparently there will not be bifurcation. Rory McIlroy this morning on social media writing, I don't understand the anger about the golf ball rollback. It will make no difference whatsoever to the average golfer and puts golf back on a path of sustainability. It will also help bring back certain skills in the pro game that have been eradicated over the past two decades. People who are upset about this decision should not be mad at the governing bodies. They should be mad at elite pros and club ball manufacturers because they didn't want bifurcation. The governing bodies presented us with that option earlier this year. Elite pros and ball manufacturers think bifurcation would negatively affect their bottom line when in reality the game is already bifurcated. You think we play the same stuff you do? They put pressure on the governing bodies to roll it back to a lesser degree for everyone. Bifurcation was the logical answer for everyone, but yet again in the game, money talks. Brando, what do you think? Well, I certainly have great respect for the USGA and the RNA and what they mean to the game. Great respect for Rory. I think he's one of the smartest people in the game, and his voice is very important. But I would respectfully disagree with uh, both the USGA, the RNA, and uh, Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods on this. Uh, as it relates to bifurcation, initially, uh, there's going to be a longer grace period for the amateur golfer than there is for the professional golfer. At least that's what I understand is going to play out. So uh, there are there is virtually nobody is going to buy a shorter flying golf ball. So initially and for a period of time it'll be the professional golfer playing this shorter golf ball. Uh, now the R and D uh, and equipment companies needed uh, and they're going to they're going to have to spend a lot of money to develop that golf ball. Uh, the cost of that will be passed on to the amateur. Professional golfers do not pay for golf balls. They do not pay for equipment. The cost of developing and producing that golf ball will be passed on to the amateur. So they will incur the cost of this new golf ball, and they will lose. You know, look, there's a lot of debate on this. I've looked at the numbers. I, I dove into them with a great degree. I do believe that the average amateur golfer will lose four to seven yards. The LPGA Tour player is going to lose a little bit more than that. The average LPGA carry yardage is 220 yards. They're going to lose seven, eight, maybe even nine yards. So you're talking about 212 now is going to be their carry yardage. So the amateur and all golfers will pay a price here in distance, and the amateur will bear the burden financially, at least for the first three or four years of this. Governing bodies in the past couple of years have been indicating that the cost of doing nothing would be expanding courses, requiring more money and more water. We will hear voices from both sides weighing in when that decision comes in. Here's a quote, by the way. Modern golf is ruining every course in America. You know who said it? <laughs> Bobby Jones in 1927. We're still having that debate.